everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. Today we are going to be making a turkey in the air fryer. My last video, I made uh, just like a small already pre-cooked turkey and then some stuffing and potatoes. So if you guys wanna watch like a full turkey meal, go to that video because I did that on that video. So this video is just gonna be a regular turkey in the air fryer and that is it. Um, I did do a whole chicken in the air fryer, I think maybe like last year, I'll leave that up above if you guys wanna check out that video. But it's pretty much gonna be the same concept of making a chicken in the air fryer. So I will show you what I have for right now. So I have the Butterball Turkey Breast Roast. This is, let's see how many pounds this is. This one is three pounds. So this is a little bit smaller than a whole chicken that I cooked last time in the air fryer. So we're just gonna go over a couple things with making a turkey in the air fryer and things that you need to put on it first before you get started. So in my chicken video, I know I had some comments in there about how much butter I used with the chicken. So when I usually make chicken in the oven or in the air fryer, you need some kind of spray or coating on what you're cooking for it to be able to get that nice crispy coating. That is exactly why I put so much butter on mine. So you have a choice when you are making your turkey or your chicken is to either use butter or olive oil or a spray. So I have with me today is I have some butter and I have some spray just so I can show you. You can use this. This is perfectly fine if you would like. You can also use some olive oil in a bowl and then kind of just rub it around the turkey and then put your seasonings on top. But today I'm gonna be using butter. That's just the way I like to cook it. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Um, we're gonna get started here quick and get this in the air fryer. I wanted to get this out for you guys just because Thanksgiving is right around the corner. I wanted to show you a couple ways that you guys can make like a meal for yourself for Thanksgiving and you don't need to cook a full turkey to do that. So Walmart and other areas carry smaller size pre-cooked turkeys. Um, they're just like already pre-cut, kind of like a ham. So they have that to offer. And then they also have just these little turkeys. So when you use your air fryer with cooking anything, you either have an accessory kit that you're using to put in here or other containers or foil to catch like some of the drippings and stuff. Today I'm not going to be using anything only because I have a pull out thing that I can use to put in here and then all the droppings and everything go right below it. So it won't be sitting in the grease or that oil, the extra butter and oil that sits on top. So I have everything here and prepared. When I cut open the turkey and took it out of the wrapping and stuff, it is already wrapped for me. And everything is seasoned and everything for me already and I did not know that. So I'm still gonna put some butter on it because I wanna still be able to have like that crunchy coating on top. So I'm gonna do that and I'm also gonna still add some seasoning of my own just um, because I wanna just add the things that I like to it. So some of the things that I'm gonna do, I'm gonna bring you guys just a little bit closer here and I will show you what I will be doing. So I have my butter here. I'm gonna cut up just a couple pieces. Usually when I do like a full chicken or um, like a turkey, like a full turkey, I would use like a whole stick of butter or even more if I'm doing like an extra large turkey. Um, just because we usually do, I think like a 23 pound turkey. And this year we might be using our own turkeys that we have um, here in, on our property. So this is what I'm gonna do. I have one, two, three, four, five, about six tablespoons on there right now. And then what I'm going to be adding to this is, I'm gonna add some salt to the top. If you want to, if you end up with a different turkey where you don't have it seasoned already, you are able to coat everything with the olive oil 
roll it around a little bit, get your seasonings in there, put it in the inside and you can do all that with it. But this one's already seasoned, like I said, so I'm not able, I'm not gonna take anything apart. We're just gonna season it as is. And I'm only gonna season the top part just because the bottom's already done. So I just put some um, of the Himalayan salt on. I have a little bit, or I have some garlic salt that I'm gonna sprinkle on top. Um, I have another kind right here. This is more like a seasoning salt. So I'm gonna sprinkle some of that on top. So if you don't want to add so much salt to your turkey, don't do that then. Um, another thing that I'm gonna get some pepper. So I'm gonna put some pepper on here. All right. Our family doesn't mind somewhat spicy, so adding extra pepper and stuff on here is fine for us. And then I'm gonna add some onion powder. And then I'm also gonna add some of this on there. So it kinda has a little bit of a lime taste to it, but I'm only gonna add just a little bit. Um, but I was able to get this at Walmart, so. Go ahead and try this because it's really, really good. So if you don't like lime or anything like that, then probably don't add this to your turkey. All right, so I have everything prepared in the bowl. What I'm gonna be doing this time is just taking it out of the bowl and putting it in my air fryer. I am gonna be spraying the bottom just so nothing sticks to the bottom and it's easier to clean that way. So I'm just gonna be taking it. Now, if you guys have a regular turkey and it's not already wrapped for you, go ahead and take some paper towel and blot it dry before you start putting your olive oil or your butter and your seasoning on it. That just helps it stick a little bit better to your turkey or your chicken or whatever you are cooking in the air fryer. So don't forget to do that. But this is what it looks like right now in my air fryer. So I have plenty of room for that to be in there. So I am gonna go ahead and put this in my air fryer and we are going to set the air fryer to 380 for 25 minutes. Okay, so I set my air fryer to 380 for 25 minutes. We are gonna check it halfway. I'm going to flip it and then we are gonna cook it the rest of the way and then we're gonna check if it's all the way cooked. We are at two minutes and I'm gonna turn it around and cook it for additional 20 minutes. So this is what the top looks like. And now I wanna do that. Let me show you what the other side, this is what the other side. So you can see that both sides need to be roasted in there. So I'm gonna put it back in at 380 degrees and I'm gonna cook it for another, um, let's see, put it at, 380 and we are gonna cook it for another 20 minutes and we will come back and see how it looks. Okay, so I took out the turkey, but at about 45 minutes, I ended up cutting it in half just to make sure that the inside got cooked. Just because the difference between cooking a turkey that is small and it doesn't have like an open cavity is that it's not gonna have that full air flow to go through everything. So. I decided to just cut it in half and then that way it was able to cook all the way to the center. You're gonna have color on the outside because you are adding your butters, your oils, and your seasonings all on top. So you are gonna get that look with this, especially using an air fryer. But give it a good 45 minutes or so to cook all the way through, cut it in half, and cook it for another 10 minutes. Just keep an eye on your air fryer because some air fryers cook a little bit different. Some might cook hotter than mine or you might need to up the temp in between cooking. The thing with air frying, you have to really be near your air fryer, stay close to it so you can keep an eye on the cooking time. It's a little bit different than just putting it in the oven and letting it cook for a good, you know, couple hours or whatever it needs to be for a full size turkey. But with an air fryer, you do really need to keep an eye on it. So I'm gonna cut this up here.
make sure when you guys are cooking your turkey in the air fryer that you have a thermometer to be able to make sure that it is cooked all the way through. And that that's why I ended up cutting it in half just to make sure that the inside was done. So this is how it turned out. Hopefully you guys are able to enjoy your Thanksgiving this year. I know things are gonna be a little bit different this year, but you are able to stay home and you are able to cook in your air fryer. So if you guys want, I have other air fryer videos out there. I have a whole playlist you guys can check out. I have pumpkin seeds, pumpkin pies, pastries, apple pies, uh, full Thanksgiving meal. So go check out that playlist. Don't forget to hit that bell so you guys don't miss out on my other air fryer videos. I try to do them on Fridays or every other Friday. You will always see an air fryer video from me on a Friday. Everything else is gonna be during the week. I'll do some homeschooling stuff. So if you guys are interested in any of that, that'll be during the week. And then on the weekend is gonna be like our fun adventures and things that we do. So just let you guys know, I have a full playlist of all of our activities homeschool activities, fun things, fall things that we just did this year. But I hope you guys enjoy your Thanksgiving this year. Let me know down in the comments down below, what are your Thanksgiving traditions? What are the things that you guys like to do with your family? Are you able to get with your family this year? So hopefully you guys enjoy that. All right, so don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. That lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying some of my videos like this. And don't forget to subscribe because you don't want to miss out on my other air fryer videos. So have a happy Thanksgiving and I'll see you in the next one.